fire babies, Leos, Aries, and Sagittarius. Welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How's my beautiful queens and my handsome kings doing? What's going on, beautiful queens and handsome kings? Hope everything's been well for you. What's going on? Subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, welcome. Message might be for you. I am the loving energy of the universe. So you've been the loving energy. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hold on. Why are you the little way song? Wee, wee, wee. Like a cop cop. Oh, Lord. Y'all know somebody been in the back of a cop car? Star fertility. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. I also hear and give birth to new uh, new thinking. Easy does it at the bottom. See what angels with my beautiful queens and handsome kings. Throat chakra. It says the angels are helping you Lovely, speak your truth. Didn't I say a new way of thinking? Somebody need to speak some truth. Either that you need to speak some truth, or somebody around you needs to speak some truth. Amen. My name is Bennett. I ain't in it. I don't know why I hear that. <laughs> I ain't heard that since I was a kid. <laughs> Look. Somebody trying to hold on tight to something. I don't know if you're trying to hold on tight to your pinnacles. Somebody trying to hold on tight to that truth that they said somebody need to speak. I don't know. That was low cards. Let's see what's going on. Look. I thought I was giving it to you, but they told me not to. What's going on? Bye, babies. Y'all got somebody from the past that's already past been speaking to you. You're not listening, they said. They're trying to give y'all messages. I don't know if it's in dreams or you just scared. I heard some of them, somebody's getting messages through songs. And somebody is just getting messages, period. And they looking around. You're not hearing things. Look, somebody from your past is trying to return. Somebody from your past. I always look at this cup and be like, I don't think the person, they treasure memories with you. But I don't know if you want to treasure memories with them. And I don't know if you want that cup because that cup always reminds me of somebody trying to hand you a cup of poison. You see how that baby looking? She looking straight. There ain't no smile on her face. I don't even know if you can see it. That baby like, what the hell? She just looking up at that cup. Like, and you see that woman? Let's see if y'all can see this. I'm trying to get y'all angle. She got her, her tongue sticking out. All right. Look, somebody from the past that treasure memories, brother, sister, mama, daddy, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, cousin, friend of me. They trying to get back. They trying to come back. But they only trying to come back. Because they don't want you a rising phoenix. They not coming back for good. Yeah. They not coming back on good terms. Whoever the hell this is. Whoever this person is, they're coming back because they've been living beyond their means. And 
I'm t this person coming back offering you a false success. I'm telling you now. Whoever this person is that's coming from the back, they're coming back to offer you a false success because they don't want you a rising phoenix. Lack of commitment. They're greedy. Whoever this person coming back, whether it's or if you're trying to go back to somebody fire sign, you have a lack of commitment. But if this person trying to come back to you, they got a lack of commitment and they're greedy. I told you, a cup of poison. <laughs> they ass is smug. Whoever this person trying to come back to y'all, they smug as fuck. I'm telling you now. They smug. They going to act like, it, or they feel like either, they probably just feel they can come back because they from your past. Family member, lover, ex boss one of your old employees, brother, sister, husband, wife. Hey, yeah, they coming back. But they, they've been living over there, living beyond their means, and they coming back offering you a false success in this relationship. They have a lack of commitment. Look, look. This is a rebellion-ass motherfucker upside down. They're coming back to try to cause you procrastination in your life. They have a lack of commitment, and they're greedy. They're smug. They feel like they can come back anytime they want to, when they want to. Whoever this person is. Who are they? How dare them leave me? I'm finna go back and show them. <laughs> and when they do... Come back and try to show you. <laughs> you gonna show them that you over it. You bored with they ass. You discontent. You do not want they motherfucking cup, whatever they're trying to offer you. Yeah. This person don't like the fact that you had you you got rewarded. That you got victory over there. So they coming back. This person don't. <laughs> but they still fucking cruel and deceptive. The heart that look, King of Swords. Ten man has more heart than this motherfucker. He ain't got no heart. And look, he can't use his goddamn brain. The king of swords makes a head over heart decision. This motherfucker can't use his brain with all the blood going to his brain. And they at the blood. Look like blood at the... So don't you let this motherfucker come back then. I mean, you know motherfucking good. They're cruel and deceptive. Don't you let this motherfucker come back because they from the past. They smug ass. They smug ass is jealous of your rewards. They're jealous you have victory over them. Or they don't want you to have victory. Yeah. They coming back with confusion. With their delusional ass. But they're going to realize that they only confusing themselves. And they are delusional if you, they think for any way you're going to let their ass back in there. Like, but they hoping you blinded. They hope you blinded to the, they bullshit. What they coming back with a gift? This person just likes to have competition against you. There will be nothing completed in this relationship. This relationship is completely incomplete. It's time for you to let that shit go. Let it go. Let it go. This person wants to break your willpower. This person don't want you to have inner strength. This is a cruel ass motherfucker that's trying to come back in your life. Cruel as fuck. Let them go. Let them go. They're not coming back for, for yours. And they're hoping that you got too much weakness and insecurities to see who they really are. They really doubt you know who they really are. They really doubt that that this that you see them at, that they really competition. They really doubt that you see that they're trying to make your world incomplete. They really doubt that you see that they really have a lack of commitment for you and they just coming back because they're greedy. They really doubt that you know they smug. They think you're too weak. I'm just telling you for a friend. <laughs> they're coming back to cause conflict. Like I said. They think they're your fucking competition. They're coming back to start conflict. Yeah. And the universe said, you want to keep this victory or not? Keep on going. 
Stay in transition. If you got to leave home for you to, not to deal with them, it's time for you to move on. Move on. It's time for you. Yeah, you was wounded, but guess what? <laughs> move on. You still have victory. And that's why the fuck they can't handle. Yeah. They can't handle your courage, your joy, your spirituality, your desire, the fact that you can create anything when they was going around telling the world that you needed them. You're making them look bad right now. How dare you move on? Don't you know I've had this person wants you to continue to feel like you're lonely and you're ice. They, they, this, some of these people, I hear people. So there was more than one person in this group. Maybe it was just one person. Everybody's story is different. So you know what I'm finna say, right? Don't be Cinderella's motherfucking stepsister trying to put your motherfucking shoe and a foot in, in, in the glass slipper and your foot don't fit in there. If it ain't your story, move, 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 move on. Don't have your panties in the bunch or your boxes in your butt, okay? Okay. But if it's your story, it is. But this dark-ass person that had you isolating yourself or making you feel like you was lonely, they said it's time for you to move on past that goddamn relationship. So they can, so they can feel what it feel like to be in isolation and lonely. Let the eight of swords come out. They gonna really know what it feels like. Cause that mean they motherfucking ass gonna be in an isolated ass box. Some of these people was thieves. Some of these people was trying to steal y'all legacies. Some of these people was still in inheritance. I don't need the cards. My name is Unique. I know what I'm talking about. They coming back because they do not want you to transition. They're coming back because they did not want you to have this victory of being able to turn your emotions off. So they're going to come back with some bullshit, with a cup of poison. With a cup of poison, a cup of poison. That don't mean, some of them really might come back with a real cup of poison, I hear. But that cup of poison is going to be a cup of lies. Remember how we used to sit on grandma's porch? Remember how I used to rub your back, baby? Remember the great sex we had? I'm going to do right this time. I'm sorry. Yes. I, some, like I said, some family members, some lovers. I know I didn't show up at some with employees or your business work. I know I didn't show up to that meeting. I know I wasn't at work on time, but I'm be this time. <laughs> you not, you got... Almighty didn't let give you clarity and recovery for you to go back to that situation. That person tried to leave you out in the fucking cold. But they wasn't able to. But they tried. You got clarity of who the fuck this person really is. And you didn't have recovery. You didn't have recovery. That's why you was rewarded and had victory. Don't you dare go back. I can now. You do whatever the hell you want to do. Then y'all ask. That's, that's on you. But I'm telling you what's going to happen when you go back. This person this person ain't coming back. This person coming back with a cup of lies or a cup of real of poison to take your ass out. Cause, yeah. Then you let go of these burdens for a reason. Then you let these goddamn burdens go for a reason. Then you, then you. I, I, you not that damn lonely that you feel like you need to go back in some fuck shit. Look, this person has the ability to delegate their own life. So what the hell are they gonna do in your life, huh? You already know because they showed you. Keep on hurting you. Yeah, look. This person just coming back to burn you out, to stress you out, like they've already done before. Like they've already done before. We know. Keep your rapid grow. Keep moving on. Some of y'all going to have to move to different cities, different states, different countries. Leave home to get completely away from this motherfucker. Some just going to have to keep your door closed. 
everybody's story different. Only Cinderella stepsisters don't understand that part. I'm not going to go back through that again. Yeah. What did I say? They want a part of your legacy. Your inheritance. I, I, I know who I am. I did y'all videos last week. <laughs> but God must have not wanted me to go that, or that hard on you fire sons. Because my ancestors said give it to y'all. When y'all saying I was vibing low. They told, my ancestors told me, y'all see them lights that spark when I said that? Remind you, I'm an empress. And I had a right to say what I said when somebody sent me a Leah four-page letter and started off. And I never told y'all what they said, but I give you a little bit and remind you, I am an empress. I'm the queen of cups. When a child gets out of place, you have compassion and you put them back in their place. But you also use your intuition and know, and know who that person is. You be the queen of wands and have courage. But also keep your spirituality and, you know, continue to give people stuff for free because that's what I'm giving my energy for free <laughs> they also told me remind you that I'm the queen of swords and when somebody get out of place and you already know the truth and you know who they are cut their damn head off and at the end remind y'all I'm the queen of pentacles I am stability but I will hand it on a warm plate because I clean up my own home and cook my kids their own food. Nobody has a right to tell me they're going to, in a Leah four-page letter, that they're going to burn me, find me and burn me up like a Salem witch. And in three other paragraphs, in all capital letters, kill me. That, 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 this, that man gave me death threats. And I don't want to, don't, don't be messaging me, y'all. Leave our mail. I'm just going to erase it. It's over. I just want to remind the people that said I was low and vibe, vibing low because I protected myself. That if you really knew your history, women used to run this. And the Greeks came over and took over. We used to go to war. Men used to take care. You know, I know more than I come across. But I ain't going to go there because God, God wouldn't let me get that message up. So I, I must have said told that I knew how much I knew and he wasn't ready for me to give y'all but I appreciate my handsome king that gave me information I appreciate my handsome king Jeffrey for having my back I appreciate my handsome king his name is King RJS he has a, a terror channel YouTube go look him up I love him and I also love my Leo King. I, I I know we ain't been talking. I can't help our ancestors. Baby, but I know you still there. You know, I got my Northwest, Southeast. And I know there was a lot of other handsome kings that still had my back quietly. I appreciate y'all. But the kings that got upset about me protecting myself, I ain't going to say y'all society and don't feel like women have a right to speak up. But I'm saying it. And who was Bob and Lou? Me or you? Didn't I have compassion? I, like I said, Queen of Pentacles, no stability. That person, I don't have to put who that person is or put them out like that. They couldn't afford them legal fees. Now, going back to y'all. Y'all, this person's still in the third party. And this person has group conflict. This person that's trying to come back... <laughs> They got a lack of teamwork. They got group conflict. The, 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 whoever they was teaming up, remember I did say, because I'm unique, that these were third parties. But, you know, I, I love our God, you know, who brings it on out, confirmation. Yeah. The people they was teaming up with you, that team got problems right now. <laughs> there was too many strings attached. They trying to come back. Because they do got strings attached 
to this cup of lies, this cup of poison. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, I keep on hearing it. Don't drink out the cup. If they offer you, if they come back with some food or drink, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because the string is attached. Not only is the strings attached to the third party, because it was too many greedies. And everybody wanted to be the boss. They didn't know how to collaborate together. Everybody wanted their idea to be the one, be the boss. And that, but also, <laughs> that's why they got <laughs> I laugh every time. If your dumb ass got in a third party against y'all, and now they third party is partying against each other. <laughs> But they also try to come back in your life with strings attached because they're greedy. And they feel like if they can just get back in your life, they can get their third party back together. But they ain't coming for good. No, look. This harmony. There will I'll never be harmony in this union. Never. That's why it's incomplete. This person is one-sided. This person's not coming back for you. No. And that's why you're over it. Can you read her shirt that says over it? Over it. This person, whoever trying to come back, needs to know that you're bored. You're discontent. You know that they overindulge in alcohol or drugs or just being evil. And you don't want their ass back. You're not taking it. Y'all, I'm done after this. I'm done. What did I say? If you didn't remember what I said, rewind it. Thank you for your view again. Didn't I say if the Age of Swords coming out that some of these people <laughs> was going to be isolated in that little box in jail? You got freedom from this person. Some of these people were stealing and taking their own freedom. <laughs> and they know it. That's why they're trying to come back. That's why some of them are trying to come back with a couple of boys. Because they, they feel like if they could take you out, <laughs> they won't be going to jail. Everybody still ain't saying, don't be Cinderella steps and stuff. Don't put your, if it ain't you, it ain't you. But no, there's other fuck people in your life that's trying to come back. That's trying to come back. <laughs> but they negative. And they caused you sadness and depression. And now they finna go through sadness and depression. Because <laughs> you didn't took your freedom. You didn't walked away. You're not in mental jail anymore but these people are in mental jail and some of them are really fin to go to jail for the shit they did to you it's inedible it's inedible <laughs> you prayed for it you prayed for justice now keep your hope and faith that is on its way i love you beautiful queens and handsome kings <laughs> I, I i gotta go <laughs> i gotta go <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, we're not going backwards. I just had to speak my mind, but I love you. <laughs> and until the next time, beautiful queens and handsome gangs, like, subscribe, comment. Hit the arrow if you want a private. All the people that has got privates or gave me donations, I love you and I do appreciate you.